welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. This is Julie and I am here today to impart some knowledge to you with a two minute art tip. Um, did you know that there is a long and interesting story behind the uh, genesis of French ultramarine? Um, if you didn't know, there's a big difference between uh, French ultramarine, which we uh, most artists today use, and the original ultramarine, um, which was actually, the um, first ones were actually made from ground up lapis lazuli, or uh, it's a semi-precious stone. Um, so what, you know, a jeweler would consider, uh, you, know, perf you know, beautiful jewelry, um, was actually ground up with resins and different things and used as a pigment for ultramarine for a long, long time. But as you can imagine, because it's a semi-precious stone, it was cost prohibitive for a lot, a lot of different artists. So um, in 1824, there was a um, French conservatory that um, sponsored a contest for someone to develop, um, you know, a synthesized alternative um, for that color. And it came down to these two guys, um, this French chemist or this German professor, and they had this whole, you know, arguing fest about who did theirs first or whatever. But it basically came down to those guys, those two, and the winner was awarded with a cash prize and it went to the French guy or we, it would be called German ultramarine, I guess. But um, so that French artist was the uh, one who, um, French chemist actually, was the one who came up with what we use today, which is a much stronger, bolder version, less nuanced version of um, the blue that we're, you know, um, that we use today versus the original ultramarine. Um, and mainly that, that has to do with the fact that there aren't these mineral inclusions um, from the stone in there. It's pure and it's regular and it, you know, you know manufactured to a certain quality and, and stuff like that. So a, a very, very different, much bolder uh, blue than the artists were used to then. Um, so if you didn't know, you do now in just two minutes. So appreciate the ultramarine that you have today because you know a little bit more about where it came from. Enjoy.